Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B and you're watching Triple B TV. So this week we're going to be doing the last unboxing video of the year. And that'll be it until next year as far as the boxing videos go. I just wanted to take a moment to thank a few people. Uh, Jay at Boxing Boa, Lance Kirkman, Anthony Zavala at Granddaddy Herps, and Brent Griffith at Radiant Reptiles. I just want to say I appreciate you guys' encouragement and uh, the support is, is much appreciated. Um, I, I wanted to feature you guys here on my channel. You click on this little info box up here in the left and um, it'll give you a link to their channels. Check these guys out, they're, they're great guys. And there's a lot of other people out there I, haven't, I need to thank, but I can only fit five people on my info cards per, per video. So I also want to do a shout out to uh, Mr. Brian Gundy. I noticed, Brian, that you've, uh, you've subscribed recently and I, I appreciate that. Uh, Brian was actually one of the first people that I came into contact with when I moved back to California. And uh, he's a great guy. He told me a story about a time he, um, he was looking for some advice from somebody and they kind of gave him the cold shoulder and said, you know, if you're not going to buy something from us, we're not really going to give you advice. And he said he never forgot that and said that he promised to himself never to be that kind of person in the reptile community. And I, 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 I like that. I really like that a lot. And I kind of use that as my model. That's kind of how I like to be in life anyway. But I just, you know, to hear him say that just made me think, yeah, I don't want to be that guy either. And in that spirit, I'd like to offer as I have before in other videos, 925-337-2635. Uh, if any of you guys ever need any help with anything out there, uh, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, Brian, if you're watching this, uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate your candor, sir. And also, if you guys if you guys have any ideas, or you get, I, I'm open to constructive criticism. You know, if there's something you think I can do better, something that's too cheesy, just let me know. Well, you know, leave some comments down below. I'd like to get some feedback about how it's going. I know everybody says, everybody comments that the videos are great and this and that, but if you got something you think I can do better, uh, please let me know because I, I want to make this as, as good a channel as possible and um, I need some feedback in order to do that. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to do crazy stuff like, I, like I've been doing and if that works, great, great. But um, let me know if there's something you really want to see, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'll, I'll do my best to, to do it. So I'm doing this for you guys. So. I want you to be happy. All right, well, let's go get that snake out of that box. How's it going, guys? It's a great day. It's a sad day. Uh, it's going to be the last snake unboxing of the year. I promise. <laughs> right, bud? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, let's, let's get her open. Okay. Rennick Reptiles, huh? We got a little bit of recycling going on. Very good. What do you think, Noah? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this is a well taped box. Yeah. This might be the best taped box I've yet to have received. Yet to have received. Doesn't sound like it makes sense. California agriculture. They sure didn't open it up though. I can't see the snake. I can't see it either, dude. I can't see it. I still can't see it either. Oh, well, we're gonna see it soon though. Yeah. So this is from Joel and Orlando Diaz. I see it. I put the deposit down a while back and um, I didn't realize at first how sensitive I don't these snakes see can be. Them. <laughs> You'll see them pretty soon, dude. So I really appreciate them taking the time to make sure she was really good to go before I... sending her off. <laughs> Noah, Noah, you're hanging all over me, bud. <laughs> you're grabbing the microphone. <laughs> Little zip tie. Don't cut yourself now. 
Don't touch yourself now. <laughs> so I did some reading. Um, Gus Renfro had a website up and somebody was kind enough to send me the, uh, some of the information that was on that site. Apparently it doesn't exist anymore. Good advice. Learned a lot about boa constrictor constrictor. Lots of things I really didn't realize. I think the big thing is making sure they don't eat too much. I told wow. it. I told it. You will, bud. You will. Ooh. That is a baby. How was that trip, sweetie? That is a baby. Bro. She's pretty much a baby, yeah, dude. He did you baby. Look at that <laughs> tail, though. Wow. Check her out. So this is a Guyanese boa constrictor. <laughs> One of the localities. So she was bred by um, Mr. Incredible to a wild caught female. Don't poke her in the face, dude. You know better than that, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I need to have her right here. That's right. Hey, <laughs> Man, she is amazing. <laughs> so I keep most of my snakes on on paper. It's uh, nice and easy to keep them clean. But I read that these guys really need a, a substrate to help with their muscle development. So I've got a enclosure set up with aspen for her. I've also got a herb stat set up to do some night temperature drops. Just everything I read said, you know, to recreate their environment as best as possible because they can be pretty sensitive if your husbandry, husbandry is not spot on. What do you think, dude? Yeah? You think smiles? That's cool. Is she pretty? Are you keeping her warm? Yeah. <laughs> Come on back up in your seat. There you go. This is a baby one. I can hit you. Thanks, bud. You want to No, we just get a big one. <laughs> Gosh, what a gorgeous snake. We have a big one, daddy. You know I do. But it's the other safety though. Careful. You have, you have more safety in yeah. Alright, well thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again next week. I'm gonna have Noah help me do my cleaning and it should be pretty entertaining. I'm gonna set up a bunch of cameras everywhere and it should be fun. Uh, thanks for watching guys.